All right, so the next part of the lab, we're gonna actually have you experiment with some Java code. Um, the examples that we're gonna to use today and have you guys poke around with, modify, and play with are um, authored, use a graphics library called Zet that was uh, authored by Lawrence Ongrave, uh, one of the faculty members here at the University of Illinois. So you can find the source code for this project up on GitHub, um, as well as the documentation. Uh, Zen is, you know, a pretty nice library for doing graphics work, and so you may decide that if you want to build, you know, a simple game or uh, something like that, that Zen is a good starting point. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is have you get uh, set up with the Eclipse project that you're going to use for this lab. So this Eclipse project has the Zen graphics library as a dependency, um, but it also has a bunch of examples that are designed to get you started fiddling around with it. So um, now. We are trying to get you some practice at using different tools this semester. So what we decided to do with this uh, project is publish it on GitHub. So if you go over here, you can see uh, that we've been um, that all the code for the project is up on GitHub, including Eclipse settings and other things. And so I'm going to walk you through the process of using Eclipse to uh, get this project. The nice thing, uh, unlike Subversion, is that GitHub is really well integrated into Eclipse, and so these steps are pretty straightforward. Um, so the first thing you're going to do. Um, actually, let's come over here and go to the project page on GitHub. Um, because whenever you start working on GitHub, frequently what you want to do is go over here to the right and click on this clone or download link. Uh, we want to make sure that clone with HTTPS is selected, not clone with SSH. So clone with HTTPS. And then I want to copy this to the clipboard. So I've copied this link. I'm going to use that link in a minute. Um, so in Eclipse, what I'm going to do is I want to import a new project. I'm not creating a new project from scratch. I'm actually importing the sources for an existing project. Uh, that brings up this menu. And then I want to select Git Projects from Git. So I've decided to use the Git version control system for this particular example. Um, and so we want to use it to get our project. OK, so this brings up a second menu. Um, now it's possible that I already have a local Git repository that I want to use if I had already cloned that. Uh, somewhere else, but that's not what I want to do. Instead, I'm going to use the URI or URL that I copied just a minute ago. So I click on this. This was actually pre-populated for me, but let me show you what yours might look like. Um, so I paste in the link that I just copied from github.com. So copied here, paste here. Um, and that should be all you have to do. This is an open repository, so there's no authentication required. Um, if you did have a private repository in Git, you could use a uh, username and password here uh, to give you access to that repository. So I'm going to click Next. Um, now what it does is it looks through all the branches of my project and gives me a choice of which one I want to initially uh, check out. And branches are not something that we need to talk about much, so this you can kind of just ignore um, and work with the master branch. All right, so now it asked me where I want to put the project. Um, this is totally fine for this example. You may have a different directory you want to store it in. Um, so all the defaults here are OK. Um, the next thing is I want to import an existing Eclipse project. So I've got settings in here. I've got some uh, build system files and things like that. So you want to import an existing uh, Eclipse project. That's the default setting. Um, and then finally, it's just asking me um, you know, what I want to call it. This is lab one. Um, at this point, I'm done. So I'm going to click Finish. And in a minute, what's going to happen is that my product is going to be over here uh, in the Package Explorer. So I'm, I'm all set, actually. Um, at this point, I can start playing around with the examples that are here, um, keep browsing through the instructions, and uh, it will give you sort of a path through these examples. But let's just look at helloworld.java to start. So this is an example program written using Zen graphics. Um, and all this does um, is it's going to draw some text to the screen. So let's see what happens when we run this. Now this is going to happen the first time you run each one of these examples. It's going to ask you how you want to run it. And that's because we're using a build system called Gradle here. Uh, but what you want to do is select run, as Java, run a local Java application. Click OK. Uh, that's going to open up a new window and draw some text. So that all worked. That's pretty cool. Um, again, this shouldn't happen every time you press play. See, the next time I press play, it's going to remember what I wanted to do and launch the project as a Java application. Um, there are a bunch of cool uh, examples here to play with. So here's another one called Reaction Timer. Again, first time I run it, got a um, 
got to choose to run it as a Java application, and now I'm playing with this little game here. Um, so have fun with these examples. Poke around. Um, you know, try to follow the uh, set of steps that we provided for you. Um, and overall, just have a good time. I mean, these are kind of neat. Um, the Zen Graphics Library is pretty cool, and these could give you ideas of other types of things that you want to do with this particular library.